in, a, in the last few years, especially the last decade, we've seen this huge rise of the number of open educational resources, uh, educational content to, that, that's available on the web. In the, in the past few years, we've also seen the rise of massive open online courses. So open education really describes the ability to leverage some of the, the many of open educational resources or experiences that we're finding available on the web. Uh, but even beyond that, I think it's not just uh, experiencing these uh, resources that we have, but also being able to be an open learner yourself, to basically to experience learning on the web, but also to make that transparent, uh, to make it open for others, to make sure that other people have the ability to um, leverage and uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, experience the things that you're learning as well, to share and to uh, to be able to be part of your own learning. So open learning really uh, means not only being able to leverage what exists out there, but also to put your own learning open and transparent on the web. So open learning is already happening in, in K-12 environments. We're seeing more and more students uh, through informal environments starting to actually make their op uh, learning open. So we're seeing students who are learning, perhaps not things that they're always learning in school, but whether it's skateboarding or whether it's uh, a Pokemon walkthrough video, uh, students are creating things, whether it's, again, photography or a number of things that they're interested in, making their learning available on the web. The, the problem with schools, though, is that uh, many students are doing this without the help of with schools. They're doing it without the help of their families. And so many do get into trouble once in a while. So I think when it comes down to the, the K-12 system, it's really important that students get some assistance in, in understanding, you know, what, how does open learning work? Uh, what's meant to be private, what's meant to be public, what's meant to be open, what's meant to be closed, and when to appropriately do these things. And so I think um, K-12 systems could benefit greatly from leveraging and tying together some of these informal learning experiences and allowing students to learn in these environments, but also scaffolding them in the proper digital citizenship techniques to be able to be safe and private online.